Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. All right guys, so let's go over the split toning panel now, which is Control 4 or Command 4 on a Mac to expand it. And uh, what split toning does basically is it allows you to add different colors to both the highlights and the shadows, and then adjust the balance in between those colors. So let me show you how it works basically. So with the highlights, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be selecting a hue or a color, and then we're gonna be selecting a saturation, and it's gonna add those colors to those highlights. Now the easiest way to do this, rather than trying to pick a color out from this slider, is just to click on this little color panel right here and it's gonna bring up our highlights color palette where we can choose a specific color. So maybe for this image I'd want to amplify the blues. And so I'm gonna add another layer of, uh, layer of blues into the highlights. The higher I go on this color palette, the more saturated it's gonna be, and the lower I go, the less saturated it's gonna be. So we can see that saturation adjustment at the bottom actually being adjusted as we pull it down. So I'm gonna let go right here and we're gonna call that good. And maybe in the shadows of my image, I wanna add some, I don't know, some oranges, maybe to make it just a little more pumped up. What I'm gonna do is click on the shadows and I'm gonna go over to my oranges and uh, we're going to kind of just pick a color that we think looks all right. So I'm gonna just go down to here. This, by the way, is not the way I would produce this image, but once again, we're just doing it for the sake of this tutorial. So actually, I don't like that. Let's go over the greens. I think the greens looks cooler. Okay, so we're gonna select this green. If I go up too high, it's gonna make the entire thing green. We add too much saturation, so let's go down a little bit lower. All right, so let's close this up, and now with the balance, we're adjusting the balance between the shadows versus the highlights. So going to the right is gonna show more of those highlight tones. Going to the left is gonna show more of the shadow tones. So we can create cool kind of duotone, split tone looks to our images with this split toning feature. Now, another cool thing with split toning is that it actually uh, works over black and white images. So we can create duotone black and white images by first shifting an image to black and white by hitting V, and then you can still see our color tone adjustments actually go over those highlights and shadows in this image. So if I pull this to right, you're gonna see the image get more blue, and if we pull it to the left, you're gonna see it get more green. Now, common split toning kind of works like this, where you would choose maybe some uh, kind of a darker brownish color for the highlights, and then we kind of choose like maybe a slightly different version of that color for the shadows, maybe go into a little bit of the yellows. And then we adjust our balance accordingly to kind of create this cool vintage looking split tone image where we have a black and white that has basically tones added to our highlights and our shadows. So split toning kind of gives us a lot of options creatively for adding additional colors to images and creating kind of some cool effects. And we'll get to that later when we get to the advanced processing tutorials. So for now, let's reset the entire image by hitting the reset button. By the way, you guys can also hit Control Shift R or uh, Command Shift R on a Mac and it'll reset an image as well. So let's close out the split toning panel by hitting Control or Command 4 and let's go on to the next tutorial.